answering the call from a new era. It's the gorgeous disgrace. Here with yet another doll review. Today I got Avery Styles from Rainbow High and we got the fashion studio here. So if you're from Canada like me, this retails for $74.97. Actually, when I purchased it, it was $74.97. On Amazon, it's now going for $71.97. If I had just waited. If I had just waited. I could have gotten it for $3 cheaper. But, oh, wow. Well, whatever. As we can see, Avery right here through the box. Everything she comes with. Then her extra wig. And, you know, the hair clips. The comb. And then it says one Avery style, series one Avery styles up here. So she's a part of the series one line. So now that means I have, except for series one of my rain, which I'm not going to get. Yeah. It says 300 plus looks. Watch on YouTube. Let me have a wrap around here of everyone. But we don't have Avery on the box here, but we have Violet and Skylar on here twice. Like, see, Violet and Skylar right here. They're also right there. Yes. And it says, collect the rainbow. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three. Oh! Includes doll, two wigs, 12 fashion pieces, four pairs of shoes, nine hangers, five hairpins, shoe, four shoe boxes, one comb, one doll stand, and one clothing rack. Hashtag collect the rainbow. Okay, now here's what the back of the box looks like. We can see Avery here and a hairstyle that's different than the wig she's wearing. Mix and match to create 300 looks. Yes. And so she looks like on the back of the box. It says Rainbow High Fashion Studio. And we can see everything she comes with. And also three separate looks we can, we can create as well. Yes. Now, time for unboxing. So I will see you in... I have no idea how long this unboxing is going to take. I'm wondering if it'll be longer than a normal Rainbow High unboxing or if it'll be the same amount of time. I will see you then. So that unboxing took longer than I thought it would. I should have stopped filming at a certain point because now I'm probably going to have no more space. But yes, here we have Avery looking absolutely stunning. Mine got like where her eyeshadow is. There's some like misplacements. Like, there's some random white dots that shouldn't be there, or should they be there? Not sure if you can really overly see them, but behind the lashes, there's some makeup mistakes. And she has this nice mauve lip, which is really cute. Well, why doesn't her elbow want to move? Her... Okay, I thought I almost broke her for a second because her elbow didn't want to move. The other elbow moves nicely. Why am I talking about articulation? I don't talk about articulation this soon. Her hair has like no, just none of the styling gel in it. Like even her pink wig here, they have no styling gel. And I was seeing other people's with their rainbow high dolls and theirs being full of the styling gel, but nope. I guess I got lucky and got one that doesn't have styling gel. And her highlighter is very minimalistic. And she's wearing this t-shirt here that says rainbow. Then this dress, which I like absolutely love. I really love this dress. I think it's stunning and I love all the like rainbow stitching on it and the pockets. Are these real pockets? No, they're not real. But they're a nice detail and the belt. I wish Amaya, Amaya's dress was like this. You know, instead of being two pieces, it was just one piece like this. There's a zipper. And then her, like, socks and, like, the socks and heels trend from, like, a couple years ago. They say rainbow here and here. And they're all white. Then the soles are, like, these are cool colors, like, purple, green, and blue. And then these are warm colors, like, orange, yellow, and red. I think that's really cool with her shoes. I don't think I'm gonna change her for the video, but I will talk about every little piece separately. So Avery, time to go onto your stand. I'm gonna start with my least favorite thing first, these shoes. I don't know what it is about these star shoes. I just don't like them. 
like they got a purple sole. I just don't like these shoes. I don't know why. I just don't really like them. That's just my own that's just my own personal opinion on these shoes in particular. I just don't like them. But these shoes, I absolutely love these. They're chunky and purple and they got stars all over the back. Like these are these shoes are super cool. I like these shoes. And then this is an empty box for the shoe she's wearing. So let's just take this this little cardboard cutout here. Looks like the purple ones, but different. And then these boots. Aren't these boots like fucking awesome? Not a kid's channel. Like they're rainbow and colorful and they're thigh highs and they say rainbow on the foot. But the soles aren't a different color, but I absolutely love these boots. Oh, and they're like the same as her other shoes, you know? The cool colors on one boot, and then the warm colors on the other boot, and then this one says rainbow on the side. Oh, and there's also a zipper, you know? Now, personally, I feel like all these clothes are, like, hand-picked for each of the girls. Actually, there's no green one here. Huh. There's no green one for Jade. I know everyone loves this jacket, like this jacket is amazing. It's a sequined rainbow jacket and it looks like this. It looks incredible. Why did they decide to do that? Like, it's a super cool jacket. I'm wondering if I should have put Amaya in it. I don't know yet. And then we have a little bustier top here that we can take off and it says sparkle all over the bottom. It's like that. You can wear it by yourself, but I think prefer it is supposed to be put over this top that also says sparkle. Because remember, you can't go to Rainbow High unless your clothes say sparkle or rainbow all over them. Okay, so hours have gone by since I stopped filming. Best friend called me, then I had to go to a meeting, so I wasn't able to finish talking about the clothes. I'm pretty sure the last thing I was talking about was this sparkle shirt and the little thingy over it. I put it on Ruby because I thought it'd look cute with this outfit. Next, we have the yellow skirt here with the suspenders. I was looking at the instructions and it says, illustration, okay. Do not wash the wigs with water and or soap. Do not dry with a hairdryer or subject it to very heat in any manner as it may irreparably damage the hair. Well, damn. The suspenders on the skirt are not removable. That is a lie. I swear I saw someone take the suspenders off of theirs. But yes, here is the skirt with the suspenders. I feel like the suspenders aren't needed. It would just be cute as a yellow skirt by itself. Like, they look like they can be detachable. Let's see. Yeah, they are detachable. Mostly because I don't, I'm not a fan of suspenders. Okay, that easily came out. And I bet they're probably easy to put back in too, but I don't think I'm going to. I love that I got a whole bunch of rainbow high clothes now. And that I am able to create so many fun looks. It says you can create over 300. Well, considering I have all of series one and a good portion of series two, I can create thousands. There's a skirt looking super cute. This pink dress. I don't know how I feel about it, but I don't like it. I don't really like this dress. Just something about it just seems off. Maybe I didn't like it in other people's videos. I don't know. Seeing it in person, I still don't like it. So, I really love this skirt. I don't think I'm gonna put it on Violet. Maybe Crystal Bailey when she comes in, but not Violet. Because it is cute, but it does feel like... Oh, it does feel like it's more for Violet. Then we have... An anti-sparkle sparkle shirt with an orange trim. Remember, you can put these clothes on anyone, but I like keeping my girls in the same color that they came with, so very poppy. And then I'll be honest, this hoodie was 90% why I wanted the doll. Because I felt like it would look so cute on Bella. Like, it would look super cute on Bella. So I can't wait to put it on Bella. Now, here is the rack. You're supposed to put the shoes on here. And then these things can come open. I'm... Be careful though. Oh, when I opened this up, it literally came out. Now it's not. Yes, the rack is nice quality. Okay, for the first dress she came in, I just took one of Bella's skirt hangers and just wrapped it around. God, I have so many hangers now. 
cute. This doll also came with a gold comb. A bunch of these bobby pins. I tried putting them in, but I didn't really like it. I need to show you how what I have Avery in now. As you can see, she I have the pink wig in. It said not to wash the wigs, but I did anyway. And I'm really liking how she looks in her pink wig. I didn't think I was going to like her in the pink wig, to be honest. And she's wearing this shirt that says, Don't Call Me Doll, which... In one episode, in one episode of the web series, we see um, Jade hanging one over Bella's body. Maybe I could recreate that scene. I like, I like it on Avery here. And then I put these blue jeans on her here, which are a lot like Ruby's jeans, but they have silver. Then I put her in the purple and black shoes with the stars on the back. Personally, I do like the pink wig, but I need to show you the hair she comes under it. When I talk about articulation, this video is already gonna be so long. Okay, articulation, head, shoulder, arm, 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 hand. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to be careful. Oh shit. Look at her hand there, it's already broken. Her hand, her, this part of her hand looks not very good. I'm gonna have to be super careful with her. You know, I really like her in this outfit, so I don't think I'm gonna change her out of it. But I'm gonna put her original wig on. And I do love this eye makeup and this lip and how minimalistic... Well, not minimalistic the makeup is, but how it looks. Okay, she was born for this wig. Look at how good this wig looks with this outfit. This wig looks amazing with the outfit. I'm a style genius. I wasn't done to articulation. The hip up here. Okay, good. You don't have Amaya's range. Who could go all the way? Oh, this one can do good range. And then the double jointed knee, which I wish could go even further back. I feel like I kind of rushed this portion because the other part is... Well, that's mostly me trying to take her out of the box. Yes, there's all of Avery's styles and her clothes and everything this stunning queen comes with. Remember, if you're Canadian, this girl goes for $75. Well, $72 right now, and I thought I'd tell you. And I completely destroyed her box. Like, it's literally all over my floor. Now I have to think, where is Avery gonna go? My original thought was putting her in between Amaya and Cheer Sunny there. Thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like, a beautifully written comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And to turn on the notifications to keep up with me. New videos every Thursday and every other Monday. So you always got something to look forward to. Thanks for coming and I'll see you next time. Bye.